Hey there, it's your friend, uh, give me a break man, vlogging at you shirtless again on a Friday morning in Japan. And in my attempt to always improve my videos, I promise to stop touching my nipples when I make videos. I lied! Okay guys, uh, <clears throat> I got my wife beater shirt on because I'm going to do, do some beating in this video. You can blame just, uh, not just, um, Andy McGaffigan for this. He asked me what I thought about him handing the IRTS, I don't know what that stands for, trophy to the Paul TV. I don't really watch the Paul TV. Uh, they're not interesting for me. They're just, a, they're, they're kids, they're juveniles who like to play pranks on people. They make, uh, you know, teasing videos. That's what YouTube's about, I'm sure. You know, they get lots of views and stuff. I, but, you know, they bore me. I prefer to watch uh, uh, South Park or something, or your videos, you know, which are juvenile as well. But at least um, you're in, intelligent um, and you're not just spraying water on people. Or, uh. Now, what I think about a Paul TV getting that trophy is what a waste of a golden opportunity. I mean, there's so many things you could have done to that trophy. You could have peed on it. You could have gone to the zoo and stuck it in elephant poop or given it to a gorilla. Or, you know, you could have set it on fire. You could have run it over with a, with a I don't know, a, a shredding, or put it on a shredding machine or run it over with a train or something. It could have been so... You know, blow firecrackers would have been more interesting than what you did with it. What a waste of a golden opportunity. So I don't care. But, um, I, you know, and if I make a video like this, it's, uh, it's, you know, this is boring. I don't care. I don't care. That that they are not in, in interesting for me. And they think that the one of them told me, you know, they were better than me because I, I don't have the partnership and they do. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's the big stamp, the USDA stamp of approval there on, on you. Uh, I will, I'm going to take this opportunity to talk a lot about a lot of people that I've been holding in a little bit and I want to talk about it today. Phantom just in, emailed me and told me I didn't have any class because I didn't take down the videos or erase the comments about uh, that the B.O.B. put up about him and slandering him, you know. Phantom, don't tell me how to run my channel. I'm, you know, that's where, I, that's where we have had problems in the past with this and I'm going to tell you in front of everybody. Man, you are self-righteous, and go, we're not, I'm not going to let this go. Burn Victim 77 was right when he called you a shithead for implying that he was a pedophile supporter because he favorited a pedophile video because he was looking at it. And you talk about, you know, free speech and stuff, and then you want me to go and raise comments. Here's what I think about. Uh, I, took, I took down those videos on, on the YT Underground for a couple of reasons. One of them was, I don't even know who's in that group anymore, and I was kind of bad-mouthing them. But I just realized the YT, the YouTube Underground, is a completely different group of people now, mostly. So, yeah, everyone knows I don't like Mike Skihan. Fine. Big deal. I don't like him. I don't trust him. I, I do believe he made those death threats that Jason speaks. I can't prove it. I believe it. So what? It's like he didn't slander anybody when he was here. Give me a break. Who cares? So we all don't like Mike Skihan. And he's probably the reason Batter made that video. I don't know. Uh, I think there's probably more for the reason, you know, there's probably more to it, but nobody knows why Batam made that video, but whatever. But Batam, don't tell me to erase comments on how to run my channel, okay? I like you, man. I try my best to like you. I know you're a good man at heart, but you're really self-righteous sometimes. And, and I take it back. I don't think you've ever backed, uh, backed down on anything, even if you're wrong. or you, Maybe you never think you're wrong, so whatever. The B.O.B., I have no problem with. Three people have told me B.O.B. hates me, whatever. You know, I don't care. I like him. I don't care if he hates me. I like his videos. They're funny, all right? I don't take it personally. And yeah, as for Mike Skihan's videos, I think they're funny too. So what? Um, I don't trust him, but it doesn't matter. It's, you know, it's a video. He's not like poking me in the eyeball. You know, he's just on the video yelling at me. I never, I never even saw the other one. So anyway, um, who else do I have a beef with? Yeah, just Alan closing. No, he didn't close his account. He put it on. He did that thing that only partners with, with can do, which I thought was kind of ironic. Um, because it's something only partners can do. I guess. I can't do it on my channel. But if, if Just Allen disappears for a while, don't email me, guys, asking me. I got like 10 emails asking me, what's wrong with Just Allen? Now his channel's back, so go ask him. Don't bother me. Get his private email address, and if something happens like this, bother him. Don't bother me. Really? Oh, yeah, R Renetto. Renetto, you are for the community, but now you're going to abandon us, and you're not going to do any more videos defending people or whatever. Give me a break. Come on. No one's going to replace you. You know, I, I could shave my head and so could uh, Naltz, but shh, you're not leaving the community and you will make videos about things that bother you because you have no self-control, uh, which is fine. Uh, you're not going to abandon us. Uh, yeah, speaking of Renato, your April Fool's joke with Fall of the Autumn Distro fail. That was, that was, that was baby dick. That was baby dick stuff. Yeah, that was pretty... 
I love Fall of Autumn Distro, but um, that was pretty lame. Yeah. Who else? Oh, yeah. Uh, Hugh News. Hugh's News making a video bitching about not getting credit and not wanting to be on TV. Like anybody believes that. Hugh News. Give me a break, man. Everybody would be dying for that kind of attention. The Boring Dispatcher made a video when he was on CNN or whatever, and he was so happy. And, like, everybody would love to have what you got. But what do you do? You make a video causing all this fake fucking drama about it. Give me a break. And you making that video about Maggie Bond and the Hill 88 also. He, she's not even speaking to you guys. You guys go over to the Chinese website and find the most popular people and bitch about them. Because, you know, they're not even... She is not making videos about you. You guys are just jealous. She's got 29 million views now. According to Tube Mogul, which is a great site. You got to go over there. And, you know, you've got 5 million. And the Hill 88's got 14 million. So give me a break. You guys, she's not even speaking to you. She doesn't... She's speaking in Japanese, okay? And she's a great girl. When I was especially annoyed by Hugh, Hugh's news, but you're, you, you point out that Lisa Nova looks like a porn actress and you complain about people leaving sexual comments on Community Channel's video. Pretty hypocritical. And then make some sexual in innuendos about Maggie Bond. Or maybe that was the Hill 88. Either way, the Hill 88 for sure said that... All of Maggie Bond's um, subscribers are pedophiles and masturbating to, basically implied they were masturbating to her videos. Um, honey, what do you think people subscribe to you for? Come on. Well, at least your videos are long enough to actually get anything done. I don't think people are masturbating to 22 second Maggie Bond videos. Sorry to tell you. you know, YT Watchdog, you're wrong. I love your stuff, but you're wrong about this. She's not a plant or an, a fake actress, whatever, because she's been around forever. She subbed to me months and months and months ago. One of my first ones, so... You guys all shut up. Who else have I got a beef with? I got to talk about it. Is that it? I think that's it. Um, I'm sure it's fun. Oh, yeah. Five awesome drunks. I got a really bad hangover. Yeah. Five awesome drunks. Guys, I'm, I'm one of you. But that's it. No more rules. Or no more Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday. We're drunks. We do whatever the hell we want. If anybody wants to be on that channel, send me a video of yourself drunk, being funny or whatever. And we'll put it up. Send it to gimmebreakman at yahoo.com. And I'll put it up on that channel. And I'm going to break all the rules. If I get kicked out, fine. Right? Um, who else am I going to bitch about? I think that's about it. All right. Um, hmm. 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 Oh, yeah, Mr. Duty Head 2. You're a stoner, and you got a big mouth and thin skin, and you're funny. And I mean all of those equally. Take it for what it's worth. See you later, guys.